to the coronavirus pandemic, the federal government has imposed a ban on religious gatherings, something that doesn't go down well with Pastor Chris Oyakilome. Pastor Chris slams pastors who support church closure, claims they collected money from governments. Oyakilome, the founder and president of Love World Incorporated, also known as Christ Embassy, has called out pastors who are in support of the closure, the church closure. According to him, the government had meetings with several pastors and leaders of churches to seek their opinion before going ahead with the lockdown, and rather than tell the government to give them a chance to pray against the disease, they agreed on church closure. Pastor Chris added that Christ was never truly the Lord of this set of clergymen, alleging that most of them agreed to the lockdown because of the compensation they received from the government, he said. In different cities, country, states, before the government went ahead with the lockdown, they had meetings with pastors, leaders of churches. Why did the pastors and leaders not say, give us a few days to go and pray? Because they were not prayerful before. Hearing such a thing as ministers of God and you are called for such a meeting, you couldn't say, give us a few days and you would call the ministers and say, this is what we just heard from the government authorities and we will need and we need to pray we have asked them to give us 3 days then you would have seen the hand of god but you weren't thinking about the father's house do you know what it is for you to shut down the congregations of the lord do you know what do you know what that means it never meant anything to you that is why and there were pastors and ministers that were sending strong warnings to others not to venture entering the church because of the virus. This is because Christ has never truly been your Lord. You have been the master of your life. You have never truly known him. Hmm. This is really serious. This is a big allegation that they collected money from government. And that's why those people, those pastors supported uh, the government for the a closure of the churches. But one thing is that I think uh, is is he not uh, one of uh, the church leaders? Why was he not contacted? Was he not part of the people? Who were the people that were contacted? Who who are the people that have that uh, opportunity to have met with the government that he himself was not even invited? I don't know because as we as we know, and that is the reality. Is one of the one of the if you are talking about churches in Nigeria, is one of the biggest uh, uh, pastors in Nigeria that has a big congregation so they would have called him as well why did they sideline him that is the question i'm really asking but that being said but this issue of a thing i don't know whether until well uh since uh people did not go to church then that means the old church uh, god has already uh forsaken everybody is that what this man is saying even i said this whole thing is going and uh, this is expected for them to even be praying when they see the hand of god you don't even need anybody to start uh, telling them, oh, you have to do this, you have to do that. You don't have to come to the public to say you are praying. When you are praying in your corner, that your prayer will go a long way to do the to do the wonders. Before you know it, even the church will be opened. And now we are still on this issue. What have they done? I don't understand. Going to this inside church, that is when we we that is when you know that you are serving God. <clears throat> I think a uh, uh, this old thing did not really, uh, you know, they didn't really, he didn't really put this old thing where, in my opinion, because the the four corners of that building is not the church. The people are the church. So wherever you are, people are holding services in their house, family, uh, like mother, father, and and the children. The Bible says, where two or three are gathered, is there in their midst. God will not come down from heaven to come and uh, 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 do whatever He wants to do. He uses the people as well. You are communicating with God anywhere, whether you are in the toilet, whether you are in the kitchen, whether you are in the market, whether you are under the tree, whether you are inside a, a, a beautiful place, whether you are in a place that is not well covered. God is everywhere. I don't understand this kind of a thing. And accusing the pastors or the other church leaders that they collected money or because they were compensated. I don't just get it. That is my opinion. That is what I know how God operates. God operates in our hearts. Not until when you go to that church. A lot of people just go to the church. They don't even know what they are doing. What are we talking about? I don't understand that God cannot answer my prayer in my house. That God cannot answer prayer anywhere. God does not have a specific place he answers prayer. His God is everywhere. Anywhere you are, he's there. 
whether you are in the, on the mountain is there, whether you are in the valley is there anywhere you are, God is there. I don't understand this uh, until people come to church. And the reason why the church is closed down or the people public places are closed and we all know it why are we just trying to make things out of nothing of course you you come and see some people i don't know what that, yeah you are going to be seeing some people now coming out to tell you oh you are not you are a pagan you are not a child of god oh you are dealing with this thing you know just come here and, and talk what you what you want to talk because i see no reason why human being will not be able to think somebody will say something that you will not even be able to dissect it and see the rationale behind the whole thing, you know, because somebody you think that you love or you are whatever, say something and that is it. To me, I don't believe until when people gather together or when you are in hundred years, if only you say you can communicate with God, God answers prayer, anybody's prayer, in as much you recognize him. If you recognize God, he recognizes you. If you say God is, is, is good, it's going to be good to you. You don't need to pass through anybody unless you are going to pass through Jesus. So this idea of not letting people to be independent, knowing God for themselves, that is what is really affecting the system. Let's hear what people are saying. That is my opinion, though. Someone says here that uh, it is the building that was closed and not the church. Nobody can close the church of Christ. And mind you, the closure of this church building, buildings have given birth to more churches as each Christian home have their churches daily and the bible says where two or three are gathered in my name i am there in their midst exactly nobody can tell anybody otherwise from what we have known where two or three are gathered families are there holding holding fellowship so what are we talking about are we saying god is not there <laughs> hmm. someone say yes oh god bless you for that thank you amen and you too you are welcome that is just the way it is it's as simple as that People making things so difficult, I don't just understand. Where two or three are gathered, now it has created more, 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 more churches, just like what somebody said. Because with this thing, now, you now know that it is you, you and your God. You and your God, because we can't even be careful enough. You and your God, you don't have anybody to call. It, it is you. That is where you now know whether you really know this God or you are knowing God through another person, not even through Jesus. <laughs> it's unfortunate. My dear Pastor Chris, I know you are a pastor who have the fear of God in you. Can someone love God without a loving fellow human being that you can see face to face? If it is true that you so love God and want your followers to be doing the will of God by converging at your church auditorium every Sunday for church service, well, you are not on the right path. But tell me and the entire Nigerians what it's, it, will, it will profit you if, because of your selfish interests, allow your congregations to die of COVID-19 simply because you are fighting for the weekly offering. Remember that the church, if not of the Christ, not of yours. <clears throat> Whatever you do, directly or indirectly, that will affect their good health negatively or that may lead to their death, definitely the blood will be upon you. Please be careful. If you are a powerful servant of God, you would have commanded this coronavirus pandemic to stop and we stop. Remember Jesus said, I will do what I... Remember Jesus said, what I do, you can do also. Jesus Christ commanded storm to stop and he stopped. Why can't you command this coronavirus pandemic to stop in the name of Jesus as long as you can't do that? Please don't allow congregations member to... Due uh, to die prematurely, someone says these allegations are baseless. The churches in Nigeria, including Chris Oyakilome Church, are members of CAN and PFN. The federal government and state government met with the representatives of these two bodies and the body representing Islam, and they all agreed to request to the request of the government at the appointed time of God, its churches will be opened, and no government can stop it. Exactly. When was the last time Pastor Chris joined their pastors in prayer on any issue affecting Nigeria before this pandemic? What divided religion leaders are more than the than what unites them? And until they get cured from this religious pandemic, no one should dare coronavirus pandemic. Some say maybe, just maybe, we don't have pastors or ministers, clergymen like uh, Daniel again, etc., who will say, oh, king, give us three days or so. Someone say, of course, Pastor Chris is right to slam church leaders for choosing down, closing down churches. After all, 
tithes have stopped pouring in since the closure a man must accumulate as much as one possibly possibility can possibly can after all all living in luxury is very very expensive and standard must be kept at all costs some say these men can cause confusion sometimes as he stopped talking about 5g network and its relationship with a corona virus hmm. there's nothing we are not going to be hearing no there is nothing we are not going to be hearing so guys now let us hear your opinion concerning what her pastor chris uh, is alleging and accusing the some pastor, the representatives or some lead, uh, leaders of churches who agreed to the government because they were compensated, so they had to close the church. Leave your comments below and let's have your take. Thank you.